What's up, everybody? My name is Chris Mohead, a.k.a. Rob Savage, a.k.a. Robbie Raindrop, a.k.a. whatever you want to call me. And we're here again with another episode of 600 Seconds with Hollow Art. And before we get started, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, because we got a very special guest in the building who goes by the name of... Max. Y'all give it up for Max. How you doing today, Miss Max? I'm good. <laughs> it's, it's, it's great to have you. Thanks. Before we even get into the interview, I want you to look at that camera and let the people know what it is that you do. Okay, I write music. I kind of tell my testimony, my life trials and success. Um, that's pretty much all I do right now. I work at Pizza Hut part-time. I say part-time because full-time I'm doing other things. And I just, I don't dedicate all my time to my, my working job. But, yeah. yeah. Facts, facts. I feel you. I feel you. How'd you get started with music? Um, I started writing music when I went to jail in 2017. It was kind of something just to get me by my time and my pain. So I just decided to put it on paper. Um, I was in my room for 23 hours and I only got to come out for an hour and that lasted for like seven months. So when I got out, I ended up writing like 150 songs. Damn. Yeah. Damn, so that's, first of all, that's dope that you could turn a negative into a positive, man. Cause like a lot of people don't, I'm sure, you know, go in there and come out on some positive stuff. You right. Know? So yeah, that's 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 real. I like that. I'm sorry that you know you had to go through that. Um where you where you from? I'm from Sumter, South Carolina. From Sumter? Yeah. That's what's up. Shout out to Sumter. <laughs> Explain the stage name, Max. Max, um I feel like nobody can name me better than me because I be with me most of my life. So I came up okay. with Max just to remind myself of being over the top, trying to find something different, trying to max out doing whatever anybody else is doing, trying to be that real voice. So Max, yeah, right. we're going to do it to the max every time. That's hard. I like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that's tight. Um, who, are, who are some of your biggest influences music-wise? Music, um, Rocky Band. She's like an underground artist. Like, she's not at her prime yet, but I love her because she's a tourist like me. She's a dark-skinned woman trying to be in the industry and make it, and I just give a lot of respect to her, and I actually started listening to her when I got out of jail. I started really listening to people's music right when I got out, because during the time I wasn't, you know, when I didn't have a reality check, I was just outside, but when I got my reality check, I tried to start listening to people that wrote music just like I did. So um, Rocky Bad is one of them. Um, Demi Lovato, um, she's a she's a rock she's a rock star artist. But um, uh, Demi. Demi, yes, Lovato. Demi Lovato, she yes. Hard, um, I kept um, she uh, she motivates me so much because she had a gap like me one time, but yeah. she got in the industry and she closed her gap, and I was like, "Sush, you lost your power. <laughs> yeah. You lost your power." You but she own. motivated me to keep my gap. Yeah. yeah. I feel that. I feel that. Um, talk to us about your other your um your business. My business? Oh, I'm a psychic. A psych? um, yeah, I um, I got my gift in 2021, and when I got it, it was really new to me. But I tried to um, appreciate it the best way I knew how, and that was by helping other people. I wanted to be a therapist, and I wanted to work for the criminal justice system. But the day I was supposed to go to school, I ended up getting locked up for two years. So I was like, that was a reality check. I wonder why that happened. And I started talking to my spirit guides that helped me be a psychic. And they was just telling me that's not your playing field. We need you more. We need you doing something with a purpose. And you kind of see how the justice system is kind of crooked. We kind of see those things. So that's not something I feel like I should be a part of. So God gave me a gift to help me motivate and be there for others in a different way, which does help people in their life. So I do, I do like my gift. Yeah. Okay, so how do you like... Um you like read people's future or future you, past present we all um we all i feel like we've all been here before everybody can say they've had deja vu before right and everybody knows that deja vu they'd be like oh that just means you've been here before right that's why i believe i believe we've been reincarnated so i can tell you about your past your present and your future um i don't use tarot cards i don't like being called a tarot reader but it's no disrespect to the tarot readers i just feel like if you touching anything based on spirituality you should be showing things of spirit and cards are not of spirit because we can see cards. 
So um, I like just based on my gift off looking at you, sitting in front of you, and just talking to you. I just look at you and review your life with you. That's all I do. So how does how does one get a, a psychic reading with you, asking for a friend? Um, the people that's really close to me, they kind of just come to me and get one. But I do have people pay for my readings. I pay $25 for like three to four questions. And if you want to just sit on the phone and talk to me and ask, and ask me a bunch of questions, it's just like $40. So, yeah. Okay, word, word. Um, what, what is your, cre back to the, to the music a little bit. Yeah. What's your creative process like? Um, I was just, I, I need to stop saying this. I need to stop saying I can't freestyle because a lot of people have heard me freestyle, but I really have to sit down and write my music. Like, I have to take my time writing my music. So, like, even when I go to the studio with Jess, I'll be like, um, I was like, um, he was like, what's the title of your song? And I was like, dang, I needed a title? Like, I just be writing. I just start writing, hear the beat and just start writing. I feel you. I'm saying. You know, we can figure out the title. Figure out the title later. I feel right. <laughs> what, what's currently in the works? Like, what what projects you have in the works right now? Um, I'm writing my first EP and my first album since um I even started letting people know I write music. So I'm doing that, and with my business, with me being a psychic, it's called I Say. My business is called I Say. But um, with that, I'm just going with the flow. I get on Facebook and go live and just start talking and. People start relating to what I'm talking to, and they send donations. They pay for a reading, so I just keep it going like that. Okay, okay, a word. Uh, a little bit off of business. What's currently in your music playlist? Like, who you listen to on a day to day basis? Um, I like Chris Brown. I like Demi Lovato. I listen to Asian Doll, Rocky Bad, Erica Badu, Lauren Hill. Yeah, those are my faves. All, all dope artists. Yeah. All dope artists. What about movies? What you watch? Um, I like Transformers. I like The Matrix. Um, I like scary movies. I like those supernatural movies like Black Lightning or Avatar and stuff like that. And um, Black Panther especially. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's my favorite right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll give it up for Black Panther. That's my favorite movie. Yeah. Um, if you could work with one creative, dead or alive, who would it be? Demi Lovato. Demi. Demi is my best friend. I'm telling y'all now. So when y'all see us out <laughs> together in the streets, don't say nothing. Yeah. Because we outside. Right, right, right. That, that'd be fire. That'd be fire. Oh, it's going to happen. I'm sure she would do it, too. That'd, yeah, that'd yeah. be tight. That'd be tight. Uh, do you have any advice for anybody watching? The advice I have for people, um, don't follow the crowd. Be your own person. Be true to self. Um, the biggest relationship you can have with God and yourself is being true to yourself. Because a lot of people like to blame their problems on the outside, but we allow certain things, and we can't keep allowing certain things. So with that being said, just be true to self, and you'll get the job done. I promise you, you will. I agree 100%. Is there anything that you wanted to speak on that we didn't talk about tonight? Um, no, not really. No, I think I'm good. <laughs> All right. You got any final shout-outs for anybody? Um, shout out to y'all. I, I shouted y'all out on so my much. Facebook page. I was like, thank y'all, Hollo, for bringing entertainers in, letting them show their talent so they can be noticed by all. So that was really dope. I really appreciate this, especially coming from somebody that was holding on to their music for like five years. Like, I, I've been holding on to my music for a minute before I actually put it out. So I, I really like what y'all have going on. I trust what y'all have going on. And I hope, and I'm glad y'all let me be a part of what y'all have going on. So I appreciate it. Absolutely, man. And we appreciate you. All right. Y'all get up for Max.
bitch. I got ten different reasons and they all write shit. Correct me if I'm wrong, like taking the wrong way home. Then I'm and I get a gone. Did 18 months, got out, running 25 racks. Thought I was broken, I was never coming back. You the ones that hurt like dirt, don't do the most. That's why I got a trinity, never leaving that go. You can learn a lot from a bitch like me. You calling me wretched, but God, the judge to me. I really been through a lot. Don't judge me by how I move. No one should really be shocked. Look, these niggas was never for me. I left them when I was lonely. These bitches ain't got you weird. Say fuck it, let's make a trail. Fuck that shit. I got shit to do out here. Don't have me in pictures, you never been in no trenches Even in the birth, they put in bodies out of ditches Shit ain't so shit with you, with your tunnel vision I'm on a mission, yeah you can't call on nobody They just wanna see the problems that get all inside me All my life, it feel like I had to hustle harder than the next bitch Look, hustle harder, play it smarter God the son of me, but I'm mama harder So I follow spirit, really a problem, but not a starter If you're really a leader, they all gon' Even in suburbs, they pulling bodies out of ditches Shit ain't so shit with you, hit your tunnel vision I'm on a mission, yeah, you can't call on nobody They just wanna see the problems that get all inside me